today I am here to give an idea of my thesis work and innovation, Seven Sense Technology. Hope you all know about the Six Sense Technology put forward by Dr. Pranam Mistry way back in 2006. It is just the hand gesture, you can use a human natural hand gesture to collect the information that is in front of you or you can gather the information in, surround, in, in the surrounding, from the surrounding and you can just do the action around us, around you. So that is the basics of sixth sense. What I have made it one level higher that you can do something, some action somewhere where you are not virtual present. That means you, when you are standing over here, you can do something over in US or any other place. Distance is not a matter. So, what I took is that I combined six sense along with robotics, networking and computer vision to make the seventh sense technology. So, the thing is that in Indian Puranas, say, say like Tadastu and show this gesture to do, to make an action that is far from his point of view. So, like the same say that Tadastu and do the uh, just say just like this and something happens somewhere around the globe or something. So, that is virtually possible with uh, seven sense technology. So, uh, what is robotics actually? Robotics, nothing but. Now, nowadays you can see like robot will mimic you and all those things by your gestures or something like that. The robot is naturally autonomous. It will do certain action you prescribe to them. Like a running robot will run, um, a walking robot will walk or it may like it may need senses, costly senses. But in seven sex technology you only need a cam to just see, just take your actions, hand gestures. So virtually a mobile phone is enough for doing all these actions. So mobile phone, laptops, anything, in front of that you just you wave your hands or just make some actions to do something distance, in any distance. So what I have literally done is that combine the, aut aut I change the autonomous robot to mimic human, whatever we we decide that the robot will do. And think of a generation where the cars also contains microcontrollers, washing machine contains microcontrollers. So think of a day where washing machine will clean your houses, take the clothes by itself and put it and will wash for you. And maybe you will be in your office and you just see what the washing machine will do. Maybe the your washing machine will take off you, care of your child also. So, hope you that 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 is soon will come into the market. And just I have made a prototype one month before I have made the product just coding started up. So to know the just to give the world the idea that it is possible, virtual possible by having a just you can see that this is what I have created just one month before, and I have just started for this result two years before itself. And just we can see the prototype video, whatever the application I have made, some eight prototype application I have made, just we can see that video right now. To move for the actual show only one finger with one leg to mark To stand with the two I have to show. Now I am showing one finger, move forward, 
This is in sixth sense, the same application set, but in seventh sense, you can take a picture of yourself and also you can take the remote pictures by showing this gesture, same gesture. Here I am showing the same gesture. And here you can see that I have took the pic of remote, uh, uh, remote cam that is attached in the robot that is in this same place. So, in the same gesture, you can take the selfie groupie and also the remote pics that uh, the robot um, where the robot is placed. To move the presentation slides, I have to just show wave my hand by one finger with the red, red marker in front of my cam, so that you don't need the help of keyboard or mouse or any wireless device to move the slides. So I just uh, select my PPT from the window. So the PPT is started and I have to wave just my hands to move the slides. Again, just by your waving your hand in front of your cam, you can just move the slides. So you don't need the keyboard or mouse or wireless device to move the slides, presentation, presentation slides. Now I am going to control the mouse pointer with my fingers. Uh, you can just control your mouse pointer with one single hand with the red marker. And when you want to double click, you just have to show the two, fing the two fingers with two red markers. As you can see, I am just moving the mouse pointer with my movement of my finger with the red, uh, red marker. So I am just coming to my video. And to select that one, just show the two fingers. Another important feature of Seven Sense technology that is virtual keyboard. You can project your key, virtual keyboard to any any surface, and you can just select your keys with your one finger with a red marker. And uh, you, here in the Seven Sense, you can customize your virtual keyboard for uh, typing emails, selecting songs, and moving the robots with the commands that you like to give. So I am just showing that I have the system connected and also I just projecting the keyboard is being projected to the wall. As so you can see I am just showing A and pressing the letter of A and it is being recognized. T S on Q. Like this you can see that I am pressing the uh, address and it is being captured and the you want to if you want to print out it into a notepad file, just run this this plus this symbol and the notepad is get opened. So that is the handle key, the data mark is handle key and plus is the caps lock and star is the uh, backspace and slash is the space. So with seven sense technology you can just move your robot from front or backward or left or sideways by just pressing the keys on the virtual keyboard also. So this is an additional feature that is supported for the, by the seven sense. So just uh, for yeah. moving forward and just pressing F, W, D, F, W, and D. D. And now I am pressing the enter key. Enter. The robot will move forward. And after that, to stop the vehicle, I am using S. Yes. Enter. So the robot stops over there. And if you want to move the robot right side, just use RT. So on T. And pressing enter. Enter. Robot move right side. And 
if you want to move the rubber left side, you just press L T down T and press enter. Enter and the rubber must left press. And again if you want to stop, yes. Yes and press enter. Rubber stops. And also you can customize to play your favorite song. For playing us, uh, playing songs, you just have to type S O N G that I have given. Like so, you can give your own keys for playing your own favorite songs. So I'm just pressing S O N G. Yes. O. O. N. N. And G. G. And after that, I'm pressing an enter key. So now the song will be played. <laughs> Hope you have enjoyed the, my prototype designs and this is just I showed that well that it is possible. So with the motions, more motions of the robots like uh, robots can have the uh, walking motion, any other motions. So it's just showing, I am showing that it is possible and now I am working on without markers. I have reduced the marker color to red and blue only in this prototype. And without markers also you can do, that is my uh, next, within one month I will be coding that too. And there are more other things like PPTs. So this is a, I am now I will tell to the future applications of this one. Actually this 7 sense technology has a great advantage in the cancer treatment. Uh, nowadays, Korean scientists are working on nano robotics, and nano robots will kill only the cancerous cells, and it won't affect other cells. So that is a great advantage, but it is much costlier. So taking more and more nano robotics is not affordable for humans, all humans. So if you take one time with this technology, it can be reused again and again. Not you want to inject again and again. So it will cure the cancer cells, cancerous cells and it will not re, again, it won't regenerate again. And next one is it can be applied in the border security. It can be applied for soldiers. So no trespass will be happening because humans can sleep but robots won't sleep. If they, they can't uh, allow somebody to trespass to our country or something. So it is, it has a better advantage in water securities and like household applications, schooling, any field. So any field of technology or research can apply this one. So this is going to be a future applications and you can see the from slides, nano robotic technology, medicine for all normal diseases, security and prevent trespassing, control of satellites for getting into current orbit. Means Mangalayan is, an, uh, it, it is by Indian science is a great thing. But so many before that failed to get in the correct track, right? It is now possible to put it in the correct track with the just hand gestures. So robots will be assisting for that. And doctor assistant for operations. Like um, I know so, so many persons like they need to travel to US or any other country to meet some uh, doctors in personal to, for their operations and purpose. But it is now possible like a doctor in the US can operate a person in India just by showing his gestures and a robot will be doing the operation on behalf of him. So that will be great aid. Transformation of robots. Even you can configure your cars, anything like it will do multi-dimensional things. Maybe we will see that okay this, this, this thing can do this only but it can do so many other things. So many things like a running robot can do walk, it, it can take care of your child. It can do, um, it can do anything like in movies, Transformers, English movie you have seen, right? Hollywood movie you have seen, that is possible. So human assistant in all field virtually. And that's all about the future. I convey my, th my uh, uh, thanks to my parents, my guide in my research, Mr. Govudarshan and my HOD of my computer science department and Mr. Anilaya. And I thank you everyone once again and I will end with a note, future is coming.